Hey guys, uh, Physics here, and uh, welcome to the first episode of my uh, editing tutorial series. So uh, today I'm going over uh, a few things, uh, like you know, preparing your projects for uh, editing and um, rendering. So uh, you know, these are a lot different from each other, of course. Um, so yeah, but uh, let's just start. Um, first off, you know, you'll just open your Vegas and you'll get this. Um, what you do first is you go to file and you click new. So this is a new project and um, I'm pretty sure this this should be at like uh, 360 beast uh, like settings or something. So first you know change this to 1280 by 720 uh, non the field order on non-progressive scan um, yeah just pretty much copy this shit so uh, and then we're going over the frame rate. Um, so first off, you know, you just go to your, uh, you know, whatever clip you've got. So let me just find my clip here. Um, let's just see. Let me just grab a room core clip. Um, you know, you right click your clip, uh, go to properties or like, you know, the law setting um, and go to details. And you can see here uh, the frame speed. Uh, it's 60 frames per second. Um, so yeah, like um, that's what I recorded in. Uh, so I just select here the the 59.94 because that's just some some format or something. I don't know whatever. Like if, I'm pretty sure this is just for uh, internet or something. But YOLO. Um, so yeah, and then you go. So you select this, and yeah, pretty much copy this 8 bit. Uh, and go to you know, set this to best Gaussian like you know just save all that shit and uh, I'm pretty sure the audio I you can just set this to best uh, but you know everything's pretty standard I'm pretty sure so like I have no uh, no idea what all this shit means anyways but um, so yeah you know just check uh, start all new project with uh, with these settings and um, you know just you can also save your uh, save your settings your template uh, like render one or something and just hit save and um, then you click OK and now you can start editing so now I'm just gonna open a project right here let's just see rendering tutorial let me just find it here um, so yeah what you uh, have here you know usually when you're editing uh, you're editing on a lower resolution in the in the preview window because um, else you'll lag a lot, everything will lag. Um, so you, usually I'm always at preview and half. So, um, but the thing is, if you you know if you would render right away, your quality would go automatically to best and half. So, um, you know before uh, before I render, I always put this to best and full, so the quality will be a bit higher. So um, you know, just set this to best and full before you go render, and uh, you know, select whatever you want to render. Just click here, and drag it all the way to the end. Um, so yeah, click file, render as, and now this uh, this thing will pop up. So you know, here you see uh, you can se select whatever format you want but I'm going over two formats today like a really high quality render but like it's it's a large file size with the AVI and uh, I'm going with the Windows Media Video V11 um, so first off I'm just you know I'm just gonna select the WMV and um, you know here if you've got you know all templates here if you want you know you can see like this is this is 180, but you know I I I wouldn't suggest using these. So uh, go to the default template, which is, you know should be there already, and then uh, go custom. And then first uh, here you go um, go to the select the law setting because um, this is you know the settings YouTube uses as far as I know. So yeah, you can all always uh, select something else. You know, just I don't really know what all this shit means. I think you can like put it higher if you put it like this. Yeah, here. But uh, for YouTube, we're just going to use um, the Windows Media Audio 9.2 and the last option. And then uh, we're going to video. 
And the first thing we're gonna change is the mode. You know, it will be on quality VBR and put it to CBR because you'll get the the, the compression buffer. So um, you should all you know keep this uh, standard. Um, select uh, your um, your rendering size. For example, I'm always going for a 720p because I don't think you know higher is necessary for uh, YouTube videos or just like standard RuneScape videos or whatever. So um, you know, but if you want to go uh, if you want to go uh, like full HD, then uh, don't select this one the the 1440 by 180, but go um, change this to 1920 by 180 because you know these are just good settings I don't know y'all um, so yeah I'm just gonna use uh, the 720p and I think this usually it's on 1.33 but just uh, put this back on one so um, as I already showed you you know uh, you've got your frame rate um, use the same frame rate as you use in your project settings so you know if you use uh, if you use 30 frames per second like here you've got the option uh, 30 and 29.97 so for YouTube I'd suggest using this because this is the exact frame rate YouTube uses but um, yeah else you know it doesn't really matter too much anyways uh, but I'm going for 60 FPS because my project is 60 FPS uh, and just keep this standard uh, and put this to 100 for uh, the best uh, quality so um, then you know this is not really necessary at all so then you go to projects uh, video rendering quality and put this to best and um, you know you can always save your uh, render settings here so let's just say like phys physics render setting <sighs> I suck at typing YOLO um, just save this and uh, click OK. So now you can just hit save and it will start rendering. But you know, if you want a really high quality render, then uh, the thing you need is Camtasia Studio uh, 8, 7 or 8. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know if 6 will work too, but um, yeah, I, I actually found this out myself because in After Effects, uh, you you're you know you're limited to the rendering uh, render settings like to, uh, yeah to uh, whatever codec you want to use so um, there are just a few good ones but like you know I actually used the Camtasia one to render and it actually worked out pretty well so um, you know I've already got my own template for this so you know just go default template and uh, go to custom and yeah this is this is you know the exact same thing you know if you want uh, 180 just go 1920 by 1080 uh, but else just go for HDV uh, you know 1280 by 720 uh, frame rate like I said you know whatever frame rate you've got and non progressive scan pixel expect ratio this but you know here is uh, where um, you know what where you have to change things um so uh Camtasia is owned like is owned by uh TechSmith and they've got a a codec screen capture codec but I'm pretty sure you can also download it on the site but you'd uh, have to check that out yourself so I'll select that and go to configure so at standard this would stay uh, would be exactly here and uh just put it all the way to the better compression um, and click OK and I think you shouldn't mess with these settings because to be honest I have no idea what that means so I always just keep this like this like the uncompressed is always the best but yeah I don't think uh, the file size will increase by just audio so I'd suggest just uh, keeping everything the same here you can put this to 44 because you don't really need more for YouTube um, and then go to projects and best again and you can always save this Fuzuki AVI settings boom and then uh, you click OK and you go render so this was quite a long tutorial I guess um, but you know it's very simple I'm not gonna edit anything of it so you know these are simple tutorials and uh, 
I think they have a lot of information in them. So um, if you guys enjoyed this and uh, want more, please like this video and subscribe, of course. And um, I will continue my uh, editing tutorial series. So um, yeah, as I already uh, said in uh, my previous videos, uh, I'm going to start off really basic, you know, with the st standard things like rendering and preparing your project like I did right now. Uh, but later on, uh, I'll make better tutorials, of course, like more advanced. Uh, you know, I'll slowly move on to, you know, like harder things to do. So, and of course later, you know, but I don't see that uh, happening anytime soon. You know, I'll just go After Effects. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. You shouldn't have to worry about that yet, getting After Effects. Also, if you want to, uh, if you want to get Vegas, uh, I'm using Vegas Pro 10 right now. Um, like, I'm pretty sure you can uh, download Sony Vegas 12, like a free trial uh, on the site itself, and I'll put a link in the description. So you know, if you want to check it out, but you know, for a crack, you'd have to search on uh, YouTube for yourself. I can't give you guys that. So um, yeah, see you guys later.